ago, it's very different because we didn't exist. And there's a fantastic video which I'll have to get to of one of our early training sessions. And if you imagine a bunch of doddery old men carrying a ball around, looking and deciding that they don't really know what to do, that was our training session. But to come together and play like that is something that is unique for almost everybody in the squad. We haven't played touch, most of us, in our youth. So this is the first time we've got this amazing energy that comes from being a squad of 16. Yeah, and even if even if you're the guy doing the camera work, that's an important part of the campaign, although obviously everyone wants to play. So to me, it's just amazing, not just how we've come technically, but how it feels to be a group of 16 people united, wanting to play the game plan, wanting to win, but, but wanting to win by playing our game as a team. We have overcome. We Actually, I mean, the, the Cook Island team were off singing, and it was one of the best, most sort of uplifting bits of it all. You get to the end of the tournament, and what, one, you just need to win it by one. Um, the girls were in total control. We were sort of the fittest, stronger team. Singapore were superb. They, they played much stronger, faster than we did uh, previously. So they gave us a really good run for money. But um, I think we were always new. Um, we were confident inside. For me, it's been about three and a half years of coaching with the, the squad in total. But this time round, it's about a dozen weekends and God knows how many hours. And paperwork, video work for me, and thousands of hours in the gym for the girls. Um, they're just, they've just been superb, unbelievable. 